Hello everyone, this is Bunka He here with a quick tutorial on the basic technical side of making a mod character and Don't Starve together on Windows 10. Before starting this tutorial, there is a chance that you will have to install some free programs on the internet. First you need to make sure you have a program that can read Lua files. A good free option for this is Notepad++, which is what I'll be using in this video today and the one I personally recommend using as I won't be able to help with any problems you might have using other programs. Another program you will need is any art program that will let you save images as transparent PNG files. There are plenty of free programs such as Fire Alpaca, GIMP, Krita, etc. If you've never saved transparent images before, I recommend looking up how to do so with whatever art program you decide to use. To begin, you'll want to open up Steam. Head over to this tab in your library, enable the ability to see tools, find an application called Don't Starve Mod Tools, and install it. Next, head over to Don't Starve Together in your library, and head on over to the workshop. Once you're in there, go to the search and type in Extended Sample Character DST. There, you should be able to find a mod with a white cat character at the top. If not, change the sort by to popularity. Click the mod and then subscribe to it. Head back to your library and launch Don't Starve Together. Doing so will install the character mod file into your computer. The file should install upon signing into the game and reaching the main menu. But if you would like to test to see if it works, you can host a new game, set participants to 1, head to the mods, and activate extended sample character. After installing the character, close the game. Head over to your files explorer and open it. Most likely, the folder that we'll be looking for will be in Local Disk C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and your Don't Starve Together folder. Head to the Mods folder. In it, you will see all the mods that you have downloaded from the workshop. The specific file we want is Workshop 36120-2313. My personal recommendation to make future character modding easier is to move this file to your desktop or wherever you want to keep this file and renaming it to something like DST Character Mod. Once you've done that, copy that folder by holding down the control button and dragging it into the mod window. Rename the file into the name of your character. In this case, I plan on making an Optimus Prime mod, so I'll be using that name. Next, open up the file. At the bottom, you should see two Lua files. To open them with Notepad++, right-click the Mod Info Lua, click Open With. Chances are Notepad++ won't show up as an option. Click More Apps and scroll to the bottom. Click for another app on this PC. Go to PC, Local Disk C, Program Files x86, Notepad++, and click notepad++.exe. Once you have mod info open, you can change the character's name, description, your name as the author, and what version of this mod this is. Personally, I just ignore the version. I do not believe that these things show up in game, but it's a good idea to edit them anyways. Click save, but don't close. While you have this file open, Click Control shift f This will pop up a menu like this. In the Find What box, type ESC template in all lowercase. In the Replace With, type in your character name with no spaces and all in lowercase. Make sure you have the Match Case box and In All Subfolders box selected. Click the dots at the end of the directory box. Doing so should open up the folder you're currently in. If so, click Select Folder at the bottom right. If it's not in your character's folder, open up that folder, then click Select Folder. Next, click the button that says Replace in Files. Click OK. 
Now Notepad++ is editing all the Lua files in your mod to change ESC template to your character's name. You should have 66 occurrences. Next, replace the Find What Boxes text to all caps ESC template and replace with put your character's name with no spaces and in all caps. Click replace in files. You should have 11 occurrences. Close the file and open the mod main file. You should see your character's name in this file. Scroll down and you'll find the character select screen text. Change this text to your character's title. This should be things that quickly describe your character. While I was rushing, I accidentally made it Optimus Prime, but if I were paying more attention, I would have made it Leader of the Autobots. Next is the name of your character. After that is your perk descriptions. I've left these unchanged for the sake of the tutorial. Next is a character quote, followed by your character's survivability chances. Skip the speech strings since that doesn't need to be edited and head to the character's name as appears in game. I'm not sure what the bottom one is for, so I just changed both of them to the character's name. At the very bottom, you can change your character's pronouns by replacing the middle text. Even though Optimus is a robot, male pronouns are used for him in the series, so I changed the text to all caps male. When you're done, save and close. Next, we're going to have to change a lot of file names and delete some files. To make it a bit easier, my personal recommendation is to type your character's name, all lowercase with no spaces, and copy that text. While renaming these files, make sure you only replace the parts that say ESC template. Let's begin in the file Big Portraits. First, delete the TX and XML files. These will be recreated later by a compiler program, so don't worry. Next, single click the PNG image and wait a second. Now single click the text of its name. This will allow you to change the file name. You can also right click and click rename file if you prefer. For now, skip the exported and anime file and go through all the other files and do replace all the names. If you get a warning pop-up, chances are you might have accidentally edited the .png in the file name. Do not accept the change, and retry naming it without ruining the .png. Once you've done that, go into Exported File, rename all the file names. After you've done that, open up the file with just your character's name. All these files don't have character names in them to change, so don't worry about opening them up for now. If you have a zip file at the bottom of the folder, delete it. Rename the scml file to your character's name. Go into the ghost folder and do the same. Now go to the anime file and delete the zip files in there. Lastly, go into scripts. Immediately, you'll see a Lua file for all the character dialogue. Feel free to edit it or leave it. In Prefabs, open up character name Lua. And there, you'll see the option to change character stats. If you've done all this, the base of your mod should be functional. I personally recommend testing it because better safe than sorry. But be warned that doing so will make you have to delete those text and XML files again. To test the mod, I recommend going into your Don't Starve Mod Tools folder, which will be in the same folder as your Don't Starve Together game folder. Go into Mod Tools and run autocompiler.exe. If you go test the mod, don't freak out when you see the example character mod again. It shows up again because you're still subscribed to the mod in the workshop, which caused it to make another copy of that file. After you're done testing, go back into the folder and delete everything inside the anim folder again, delete all the text and XML files again, and delete the zip folders in the exported character name and ghost character name files. 
If your test was a success, it's time to teach the basics of editing the mod visually. As a real quick tip, unless you really know what you're doing, it is recommended that you don't change any of the image dimensions, aka the length and width of the image. All the character parts will be in the exported character name and ghost character name files. Unfortunately, it can be pretty hard to tell which part is what in the folders, but I will put a comment in the comment section that will tell you what most of the file names are referring to. To edit the images, you will need to open up your art program. Drag the image file over into your art program. Edit it as you wish and then save. To test out your images, go to the SCML file in your folder. Right click it. Click open with, click more apps, scroll down, Click look for more apps. Go into your don't starve mods folder. Click mod tools. Click the spider folder. Click spider.exe. The thing I edited doesn't show up right away, but you can see it if you move it. I recommend not saving anything you do in here unless you know what you're doing, as it could ruin the animations or potentially crash your game. This should just be for testing your edits without having to go into the game. Lastly, if there are things you don't want your character to have, such as the pigtails or the tail, go to Exported Folder, then the Character Name Cleared Folder. In it are files that are completely invisible images. Go into the folder that has the pieces that you want to remove and copy all the images in the folder. Go to the folder that has your character's name or the ghost character name. Go into the folder with the parts that you want to remove, paste all the invisible images, and then delete the visible images. Open up the SCML file again to test if it worked. And that's all the basics for creating a character mod and Don't Starve Together.